Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you a what is in my purse video. And I have done a what's in my diaper bag video, but never a what's in my purse video. So this is gonna be maybe just a little bit different. I have started to carry my purse again, or shall I say a purse again. Um, occasionally I will like trade between the two, like my diaper bag, depending on if we're gonna be gone all day and I know that I have to pack all kinds of stuff for the kids. But if we're just gonna be out running errands, I really prefer to carry around my purse now. And especially like if I'm going out on a date with my husband and stuff, I obviously don't wanna take my backpack purse or, or backpack diaper bag. So I like to keep it in my purse now and then transfer it to the diaper bag when I need to. It just kind of depends on where I'm going and that kind of dictates which bag that I use. But lately I have been carrying my purse almost every day. I was sent a purse from Teddy Blake and um, I am very picky about my purses. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that there are, well, you might, you might not know this about me. This might be a new thing for you, but I am very picky about two things, my watches and my purses. And those are two things that I really like to splurge a little bit more on because I find that there's something that I'm going to use every single day. I'm going to wear my watch every day. And I actually haven't been wearing my watch recently because, well, I'm wearing a new watch now. This is by uh, Mark Bill, but that's a different video. Um, I'm used to wearing a Michael Kors watch, and I also like Michael Kors purses. Those are always the watches and purses that I've carried. And they're a little bit more on the pricier side, but not like too pricey. It's not like a Louis Vuitton or anything. But recently I was sent this purse by Teddy Blake of New York, and this is what the purse looks like. And it's like a tote size purse because if you're a mom, you know that you have to have a tote size purse. Like, it's just a must. So this is a 100% genuine leather purse. And I love that it has the little footies on the bottom so that when you set it down on the ground, it's not getting all dirty down here. I really, really like the footies on the bottom. Um, I also just love the color. This is like my favorite color. Every time I get a purse, it has to be like a neutral color. I like grays, very soft browns. It just kind of depends, but I'm really particular about my purses. So when I got this in the mail, it smelled like the inside smells like leather. This is a very nice handbag, and I believe this is $3.89, I wanna say, which is very comparable to something you would pay at Michael Kors. And I like that it's different. I want something different than what everybody else has, so I really, really like this purse. Um, I, <laughs> I feel like you guys think that I have to say this kind of stuff because they sent it to me, and I don't. I don't have to say anything about this purse if I don't like it and if I'm not carrying it on a day-to-day -day basis. I was sent this purse a while back and I have been carrying it. I've been trying to see if it's going to wear throughout the day. I mean, I put my stuff through the ringer. When you have kids, it's like I've thrown milk in here. I've thrown sodas in here, like sodas with straws in here. Um, all kinds of things have the potential to spill in my purse. That's just how it is. So I think I might have kind of got a little bit of something on the inside, um, but the inside is so well made that everything has just, I mean, nothing is ripping. There is no tears there. It's easily to, you know, you can easily wipe it off. It's got two pockets on the inside. So this video is not about the purse. The video is about what's in my purse, but I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in a purse, that's a little bit more different than what you can find at the mall or different from what everybody else has. Definitely check out Teddy Blake. I will leave all of the information below. And I also have a discount code that will get you $20 off um, a purse. And then I believe if you sign up, you get 35% off. So you can get a really good deal on a really nice purse. I carry my purse for like years or at least a year. I will not need another purse for a very long time. I don't switch them out unless I'm switching to my diaper bag. This matches any outfit so you don't have to worry about um, any kind of issue matching if that's your thing. I really don't care whether or not my purse matches my outfit to be honest. It's just, it's a really nice bag and um, I would definitely recommend it. I'm not being paid to say that. So I just want to let y'all know that this is my complete and honest review. Nobody's making me do it. Nobody's holding a gun to my head. I just really like this. And my husband usually buys the purses for me and he's the one who splurges on them because I just, I will carry it and carry it and carry it until it falls apart. So 
enough said about the purse now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in my purse so I did not go through this purse I just brought it in from the kitchen and brought it in here so who knows what we're gonna find in here um yeah so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what's in here. This is my wallet, and this is from Target, and of course it just has all my cards and all that stuff that you got to have. So whenever I'm running errands and I don't want to grab my whole purse and take it inside, I just grab this, and you know, you could slide this around your wrist if you wanted to. I just like the color of it. It's from Target probably like a year ago. I don't know if they still have it. They might. It was very reasonably priced. Of course, it's Target, so... I have some up and up hand and face wipes for the kids. Every time we're out, they always are messy. That's usually my fault because I'm letting them eat snacks or whatever and they get messy, but these are like a dollar at Target and I really like these. But I do have baby wipes in here, of course. You gotta carry baby wipes all the time. You never know when somebody is gonna need a diaper change. So then that leads me to the diaper that's in my purse. Um, like I said, if I'm just out running errands, I usually will just always have a diaper and wipes in my purse because I'm not carrying my whole diaper bag. Um, I also have a book of Pokemon cards just in case I want to play Pokemon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is another thing. If you have kids, all of their stuff ends up in your purse. So I have a whole thing of Pokemon cards. You know, you never know when you want to play Pokemon. I have some snacks. I've got a Simply Balanced um, fruit snack from Target. And then I have a strawberry, apple, apple cinnamon, I don't even know, uh, cereal bar for Cooper. So I've got those whenever my kids are grouchy and need a snack when we're out. I've got a spoon. Now this might seem weird, but when you're out and you're eating somewhere, you always need a spoon for Cooper, who's kind of in the middle between eating baby foods and solids, so you always, I always keep a spoon in there. And then I've got a little teething thing that's kind of keeps them occupied whenever we're out. These are, it's supposed to be kind of like a little toothbrush for kids, but um, he just likes to gnaw on it and chew on it. I just got it from H-E-B, which is like our grocery store. And then I have some hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This is candy apple, and I'm not really crazy about the scent. It's a little bit strong, but hand sanitizer is hand sanitizer. And gosh, there's going to be so many lip products. This is my Emily Cordon A Kiss of Full Luxe and Charm, and it's in the number one Lisa Rose Champagne. That is a lot, a lot of words. Um, but this stuff is amazing. I was sent this by Emily Cordon. I use it every single day, um, and it's actually pretty doing pretty well for using it every day multiple times this is like my chapstick um, my lips get so chapped during like they get chapped all the time um, my lips are like permanently chapped and it's really annoying but this stuff feels so good it's like butter but it smells like roses and I it's just to die for so if you're interested in that I will leave a link below this stuff is so good I use it in the morning I use it at night I use it during the day it's like I have to have it with me at all times so I love this, and then I've got the CoverGirl Decadent Peach lipstick in there, and that's not what I have on today, but I was actually looking for um, like a peach lipstick. I really like this, and these should actually probably be in this bag, which is from Ipsy, and I have got some other lip products in here. I've got a L'Oreal Pop Balm, I've got a NYX Butter Gloss and Angel Food Cake, I have a Revlon, Revlon, I have a Revlon Matte Balm in Honey, and then I have the CoverGirl Honey Bloom, which is like one of my favorite, all-time favorite lipsticks. Those are kind of the ones that I keep with me all the time. The lip colors kind of interchange all the time, depending on like what I pull out to use and you know what. They just usually go in here in this little Ipsy bag, so. This bag right here, I talked about in my diaper bag video, this is a little fox pouch. It's actually Cat and Jack by Target, and it was like 98 cents on sale uh, probably like six months ago, but I keep all my feminine products in here. Okay, so my memory card got full, and I had to leave for a second, and now I'm back, so I don't know where I stopped at in this long journey of never-ending stuff, but... I will continue with what's in my purse. Now, I have um, my Ray-Bans, and these my husband bought me when we were in Fredericksburg, and honestly, I cannot find them online. I don't know why. 
I will see if I can find them again. I will try and look and I will link them below. If I've had a lot of people ask me where they are from and if I could link them, you know, if I could link the ones that I bought, but I'm not exactly sure. So they're like a rose gold kind of mirrored sunglass and I love them. These are the most expensive pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. So I try and take really, really good care of them. I think they were like 175 so I will leave them below if I can find them. I have oh, my keys and my vlogging camera. This is a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. If anybody is interested, I've had a lot of people ask me what kind of camera I use for vlogging. This is it. It's got the little flip screen so that whenever you're talking, you can see yourself and make sure that you're like in view. I wouldn't be able to vlog without that. I would be all over the place. What else do I have? I have my um, Soap and Glory Hand Food. This is the best moisturizer. I have been using this for a very, very, very long time and I pretty much cannot live without it because just like my lips, my hands get really dry. I just have very dry skin. So I also have the Sugar Crush Hand Food Moisturizer, which I don't really like the smell as much as this one. I actually picked this one up by accident. I thought I was getting this one and I got this one. So. It, it works just as well. I'm just not crazy about the lime kind of scent. I like the original scent. So I got this at Target. This is like, I don't know, $10 at the most. And you can buy these little ones at Ulta for like $4, I think. And then I've got some Orbit Winter Mint Gum. This is my favorite gum. I usually almost always have this kind in my purse. And I've got two pins, which I don't really like to carry pins in my purse because I'm always afraid that I'm going to leave them with the little pin part out and they're gonna write all over my purse. I haven't done that yet, surprisingly, but I'm probably gonna keep those out. I do like to have a pin like in my car if I drive by the bank and I need it or something, um, you know, just to have a pin in my car because half the time I do need a pin a lot of times, but I don't like to keep them in my purse because it's happened to me before where I've written all over the purse. Oh, and a passy. I've been looking for a passy, so that's good to know. And I've got a Pokemon map. Oh, like a collector's map, just in case we want to try and catch them all. I have a hairbrush. This is the wet brush. This is the only brush that I use. And I only, I mean, they have bigger ones. I just always use the small ones. I feel like it's just plenty enough for me. So I like to keep these. I've got three of them like one in every room in my purse. I've got a charger and this is probably needs to be charged because every time I'm out and my phone dies, this is never charged. So I need to put this on the charger, but I got this from Target and these are only like $5. I think they're in the dollar spot. I've got my checkbook, which needs to go in my wallet. I have another spoon, which probably needs to be washed. Both of those need to be washed. I've got a sock, you know, want just one lonely sock. And last but not least, I have some Lysol disinfecting wipes. I like to have these in my purse. I know this seems weird, but when I go out shopping, uh, like to Target or grocery stores or anywhere, I like to try and wipe off the handle part area where my kids are always gonna touch. Um, you can't stop every germ in the world, but it doesn't hurt to try and clean stuff off because so many people touch those and nobody ever wipes those off, so. I do like to keep those with me. You never know when you're gonna need a little pack of these. And that is it. I think I've got some quarters in here. Never know what you're gonna need those for. But this is what the inside looks like. Just in case you're wondering. Oh, oh no, bobby pins. Bobby pins and some trash. But this is what the inside looks like. And that's not stains, it's just trash down there. But it's like a suede material on the inside. It's very, very nice quality. I just really love this purse. I feel like it's different than what I've seen before. I love the color of it. I'm a very neutral, like a very light neutral person. This is the perfect color for me. I will leave the exact one that I that I have below if you're interested, but this will probably be the purse that I carry for a good year or so, um, you know, probably longer than that. So you guys should see the pile of stuff that is on my vanity right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. I need to obviously clean out my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I felt like I kind of had to speed through it a little bit. One, because my battery on my camera is dying and it, in any second it's going to completely turn off on me. And the other reason is because if I went into detail about every single one of these random 
like random items that are in my purse you guys would be sitting here forever so if you have any questions about anything that i pulled out let me know in the comments below and i will let you know what it was that i was talking about or what it was that i pulled out of my purse don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys all in my next video bye